Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're doing another SS. This is the Ton Retro uh, Classic Edition. I'll put a link in the description. This is, has also come in from Navdeck. He sent in the SS Gladiator which you would have seen and I'm really impressed with this but I asked him how much did this cost. He said he got it from uh, India uh, through a friend and about 10,000 Indian rupees which is just over $200, which is amazing because it's a huge thick bat. Uh, this is definitely an Indian profile bat. Um, and let's have a look at it. Firstly, let's put the gauge on it. And it's just filling that gauge, it's massive. So compared to that Gladiator, this is the real sort of low players sort of shape. It's in that low, mid-low position that, that all the action is happening. Nothing's happening up here. It's definitely not a bat you would take to Australia. Um, it's all full, mostly all the way through. I'll put that there for you so you can see just how full that is all the way through the profile. Nice round MS Dhoni shape. Um, or you could argue it's the Tendulkar style, but I think this is the Dhoni shape, which has got that sort of long edge, but a real mid-low spine and that round toe so yeah I, I do like it I, lo I love traditional toes I, I think that's the way to go have a look at the dimensions 38 mils in the edge that toe is looks thick to me it says 24 and remember that is fairly rounded so it's come up a fair bit and it's 31, nearly 32 mil down the center of that toe. Shoulders look nice, 15.2. Uh, and 35.5. So that seems to be fairly consistent with the Gladiator down here at the shoulders. Um, not a lot of wood left down here. These two bats this way. So immediately I can tell you that they're pretty much identical blade lengths, handle shapes. Um, this one's probably, this one's really round and thin where this one's got a little bit of semi-oval in the bottom. Yeah, and they've both got this serene stamp, so they're both the genuine article. I think uh, SS's finishing has got really good. I do, I do like the fact that they take the time. I do like the fact that they now take the time to laser engrave. Um, bats rather than burn in or uh, leave ink all over the place like some manufacturers do uh, and you know I mean this is for a $200 bat this is the sort of thing that, that GN is pumping out on $400 bats so uh, and upwards so it's good now there seems to be different versions of the retro classic and I can't quite pinpoint on their site which one this would be because it, there's nothing that says on their site retro classic there's all different versions. So I'll just leave the general link to the retros in there and you can go and try and work it out yourself. But he said that this would basically, if, if I had knocked it, which I've chosen not to do, um, then it would have cost $250 all up and that's including posting to me and back. So yeah, uh, that's pretty amazing. Spine. Well, you can tell that that spine is thick and that's where the gladiator came in. So we got all that spine to make up. Sixty-six mil, so it's a nice big bat. Um, what, from what I can work out on the website, this would be, if it was the model I was thinking, this color would be grade three. But I mean, that doesn't look like grade three to me. You've got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 grains. Tiny little pin knot there. I mean, that's, that's spectacular, I reckon. Um, some, you know, people would call that player's grade. So, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think he said he's going to sell it. I'm not sure. Um, I think he's on Cricket Buy and Sell or one of those things. If, it's, if you see it, definitely take a plunge because I think this is just magnificent for the price. I don't know what he's going to sell it for. Let's weigh it. 
1.292. So it's not only that, it's lighter and bigger than the other one. I, I sometimes wonder with these big bats, are they using alternative willow? Um, you know, they're substituting in something else. And I, and I don't really care if they're not charging big money for it. Um, they still perform if pressed correctly. Uh, and if the, you know, the owner has a fair idea what they're getting themselves into, then I don't think it's an issue. Uh, what does it feel like? It says 293. So with that middle being much lower, it feels all of it. Uh, I'd even go as far to say that it's, yeah, it's probably 295, 29. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not as beautiful a pickup as the uh, Gladiator, which is perfectly balanced. We have to tap it up, so I will put it in front of the camera there, line it up, and we'll start at the toe. It's actually going quite well there in a the mid, but it's really sweet right there. That's actually, you know, without the, the, the headphones in and, and I'm listening to my sound at the moment, it sounds nice and thick. It actually feels really soft too. So yeah, that's a really nice bat. Um, <laughs> if it's, you know, if they're picking these things up for $200, um, that's just insane. Uh, I think that's pretty much a $500 bat. Um, at least so that's really nice if you like what the channel is about which is about people sending in bats to support the channel to show you their bats manufacturers showing you their bats um, then hit like and, and subscribe to the channel we're, got, we're still trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year and we're miles off just under 8,000 so uh, if you like videos on the channel please share them with your friends uh, and subscribe and definitely use that uh, comment section to ask me any questions. I'm always there listening and, and uh, reading and trying to reply as quickly as I can. So there you go. That is the Ton Retro Classic. I really like that. And thank you very much to Navdeep um, for sending it in. If people want to get in touch with me, you can message me on Instagram, on Facebook. All the links are in the description. There's a Discord channel. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for your time. And we'll see you on the next video. Fun retro.